Hello everyone, this is Penny Z and you're tuning in to Debbie Tom Bra. Um so today um is gonna be all about boobs. No, it's not gonna be all about boobs. It's gonna be all about um post-transition-y stuff, I think. Um, well, first of all, let me say, uh, just in terms of progress, because this is still a progress series or whatever, um, my most recent thing is all of the, um, I, you know, I got, my boobs are all um, submuscular uh, silicone gel um, put in under the crease. Um, the boob crease. So, uh, uh, the, the, you know, there, there's stitches inside and I don't really know exactly like where everything is stitched or how they do that or how they like ice cream scoop out there. Um, but, uh, you know, they also, they, they put a glue on the part that's cut. I don't know what you call that, the incision line. And, um, it takes a long time. You don't want to pick at that stuff. It just kind of wants to come off on its own. And, uh, you know, I mean, like, you know, it rubs or whatever. And so, like, it's, so anyway, so it's, um, what has it been? It's been 39 days or something like that since post-op. And uh, so this, I think it was yesterday that all of it had finally come off the last one. And um, I thought it would come off a lot sooner. But, uh, you know, sure enough, it's, you know, it was still on there forever. Um, and it's interesting. I'm So I'm going to show off a little bit. Um, I don't know if you can see, but... I wanted to show, see I've got my little scar right there. It's kind of hard to tell, isn't it? Do I have my iPhone? <laughs> Is that doing it? Ah, screw it. Um, let me, maybe I can get a little closer. I don't want to be, I want to be kind of PG. Yeah, you see that right there? That's my little guy. It's kind of reddish. See it in the other, you know, it's still healing. Um, they seem to be healing pretty well, though. Pretty happy with it. Um, but so anyway, so that's nice, you know, like the thing is that while that glue is on, you just feel like it's still in progress and they are still healing. I still have to do my exercises, you know, to make sure that you want to move the, um, you know, the gel, the, the, the implant. <laughs> I had a beer tonight. Um, you want to move the implant around and it makes a pocket of scar tissue so that, you know, when they move, they move naturally, because otherwise if you let the scar tissue just kind of set, you know, they clamp down and it becomes like, you know, really firm and hard. Um, and they're still, you know, I mean, because they're still, you know, new and everything and um, there's, you know, the skin and muscle hasn't entirely, you know, grown out correctly, you know, or not correctly, but grown out completely around it. I'm, I'm sure things just stay tight for a long time, but that's what I'm noticing, but here I'm going to be a little scandalous. Um, I'm not going to show nipple. But you can really see, like, you know, they're, they're much, like, when I first, um, you know, took the bandages off, or when they first took the bandages off, they were very, um, they're very firm. And they're really starting to, like, you know, to loosen up a little bit. They're still firm. I mean, they're still, like, you can still bounce a quarter off my boob. Um, if you fucking do that, if you see me in the street and bounce a quarter off, I'm going to fucking cut you. Okay, so, I don't know. It's, it's pretty good. So that's it. You get to watch me feel feel myself up. Okay. Um, let's see. The glue, uh, that, um, hard, yeah. Anyways, checking my notes. Um, on a similar note, as that fall off, fell, has fallen off, over the past, like, um, you know, week or so, I've also noticed that the dissolvable, absorbable sutures have um have been falling out down there and uh that's like like the dark um kind of looks like black string you know and it's it's thin but it's not like you know like like you know fishing wire or anything like that it's more like 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 you know it looks like sewing string really and you know um just been watching that and seeing these little you know knots of it and uh you know down down there and uh i'm i'm happy to say that things are starting to starting to dissolve and so where are we? If it's been 28, 30, so yeah, so it's been five and a half weeks. So around five and a half weeks, things are starting to go. I hope the rest of them fall out because I feel like they're, at this point, 
irritating in some places, you know, I don't know. I mean, maybe they're still, they're holding stuff together. That's important, but it kind of feels like they're an irritation in some, in some little remote regions of my nethers. And, uh, but that's exciting. It's exciting. Cause I've seen the string, you know, like I'm not going to get on and get into the whole gruesome details, but I'm excited about that. <clears throat> but, um, let me move on because I would like to talk about something interesting. Um, I hope I still have time. Um, confidence post-op. Now, while I'm out hobbling about and I'm so not lithe and spry as is my normal countenance, um, I do have a certain degree of like greater confidence in myself just with this like subconscious knowledge somewhere that nothing is going to come untucked or whatever, you know, or, you know, like, or I'm not like, you know, no one's going to be like, oh, you're a little flat chested and you look a little boyish and you I can't tell if that's a bulge down, you know, just like you just, you know, you walk through your day pre-op and you think about all the reasons why someone could call you out, you know, and like a little bit of hair on your face or something like that, you know, and like, just think everything is a, uh, you know, a possible tell. And, um, you know, I have to say, I have been careless lately about, I still have a little bit of hair, you know, here and there, like, you know, hairs that I have an electrolysis completely, um, my chest and, you know, there's like one patch of like these hairs and, um, I've, I haven't been going nuts making sure it's all clean. Like I used to, um, when I go out, I mean, you know, granted, I'm also like, you know, I can't be bothered with fucking shaving my legs right now. Cause it's, you know, winter and whatever, you're all bundled up in the 75 degree weather of Los Angeles winter. Um, but there is definitely this extra confidence to the, like, you know, like, like if someone looks at me, I never expected this. I think it's mostly the boobs, to be honest. Like if someone looks at me and no matter how frumpy I'm dressed or how like, you know, possible hairs or something like that, they're going to look down and they're going to see boobs and they're going to go like, you know, that's the switch that's going to be, oh, boobs girl, you know, whatever. And, um, I, you know, I don't think I was expecting that. And I think boobs were just something, you know, boob job was some like, was an extra thing that I thought like, yeah, I'll do it. You know, what the hell, you know, it wasn't something that I, I was really on the fence about getting, getting, getting breast implants. Um, but gosh, you know, well, I mean that com combined with like, you could fucking strip search me now and you know, like you're not gonna find a penis, you know? So, I mean, like, what's the worst you can do? You're going to call me out? Well, you know. Um, you know, look at my skirt and see for yourself. But I find that really interesting. I, I really honestly didn't expect that much of a change. And I hope it doesn't make me lazier in any sense or something like that. I mean, I've already like, like, you know, I, I have hardly put on makeup since, um, I got back, but I'm not, you know, going to work every day. You know, I think that if I was going to work every day, I put on makeup when I go out to a bar or something now. So I don't think I'm going to get lazy, but you know, I just, it's, it's really amazing. The difference in casualness that being post-op op, you know, makes, uh, did I say that Englishly correct? Englishly. Um, one other, I mean, you know, there are drawbacks. Of course, I'm, you know, I've, every once in a while I have a little like freak out where I'm like, what did I do to myself? Oh my God. Am I like, was I supposed to be a boy? Would I have been happy? You know, you have those and like now it's like permanent and there's nothing I can do about it. There's no going back. You know, you have those once in a while. Um, I would imagine everyone does. I feel like if you said you didn't, you'd be lying. But you know what? I'm not everybody. You know, I can't speak for everyone. I can't vouch for everyone. Um, so it's a trade-off, you know, it's like, now I'm like, well, that's it. This is, you know, I better be happy because this is what I, you know, this is where I painted myself into the corner. But you know, I'm, I think, I think, I think I'm going to get mostly happy when I'm fucking healed and out living life. Okay. We're at the end here. Um, thank you very much. And, uh, I'll catch you around. Bye.